Alright everybody, my name is VTech. I'm here with K Mullins Incorporated and what? Brian King of Alpha Sports Gaming and what are you, K-rated gaming? K-rated gaming. You know who I am, you know who they are. Let's jump right into the video here today. We're talking the top ten defining moments of Billy Corgan's career in TNA. Now that he's on his way out, it's really sad. You're, we're, as, as we get down this list, I think I'm gonna get sadder because he did some pretty big stuff. I mean, there's, there's a bit great of things. there's a bit of like repetitive stuff he did because he didn't have too much. Like the good thing about Billy Corgan is he wasn't too much involved in the product, but when he was, it was just a breath of fresh air. Beautiful. You know, um, I I think especially because Billy Corgan, as he was on his way out with TNA, he found his way of what do I have to be for this company, you know? He found out that I can't just be the executive guy, you know? I have to actually, like John Laurinaitis was, he's like, I have to be your favorite hipster grandpa, Uncle Billy, as I call him. So let's get right into the list. Coming in at number 10 is something that he did behind the scenes um, when cameras stopped rolling for TNA, and that was when he quote-unquote let Grado call Madonna you know Grado was out there celebrating after a match with Drew Galloway when the camera stopped rolling and Billy Corgan came out and I quote said you've been bitching about having Madonna's song she she said no he said but I have her phone number and that I think for a moment there when you can just think of Billy Corgan having Madonna's number and he's like I'll That's let you random combination of people <laughs> I'll let you call her and Grado's on his knees begging, and finally Billy Corgan says, well, I'm not going to let you bother her, because she's busy, and just completely ribbed on Grado. And I think that's something that I wish they would have had on television, they would have showcased more, you know, because that was a, it was an early moment, you know, when Billy Corgan was still, like, a bad guy, but, you know, it was a, it was a good rib, it was great, all in good taste, so... <laughs> All good yeah, coming in at number nine is him becoming in charge of talent development. Do you guys want to just shoot from the hip everywhere about everything he's done? Oh, we can we can do that all day. All right, that could be a video. I mean, let's talk about the like, decay in general. Mm -hmm. Decay, that new theme song by Marilyn Manson. Very close friends with Billy Corgan. That's probably how it became to be. You That's think, the thing is what happens now is the big thing. I was actually just yeah. thinking of that when I was thinking about this yeah. number nine. Um is do, does he go to Marilyn Manson and say, hey stop pull it. your song from pull your song from him. Who knows? I don't know because that that hurts Abyss and Crazy Steve and they've really worked because their, their butts off. Because their song gets them way you know, over and Rosemary, but they've really worked their butts off in the ring to to deserve this. Um especially with the Hardys the X Division, we're going to get into number one, which I think number one was something I was very skeptical uh, skeptical about, but as um, you know, I look at how this will impact and still cement Billy Corgan, because they might try to erase him, but I think when we talk about number one, it will still keep him relevant. But coming in at number eight is when he confronted Lashley. You know, Lashley had all the titles in the company. A bit oh, ridiculous, yeah. um, but... Billy Corgan and Little Dixie Carter went out there and confronted him. Lashley tosses the X Division title on the ground, just spits in the name of the knockout, or not knockout, it's the King of the Mountain title, and Billy Corgan's like, we're not going to stand for that, both titles are vacated, and you're defending your World Heavyweight title. And I thought, you know, for Billy Corgan to confront Lashley is something pretty big, so... Coming in at number seven is uh, giving Mike Bennett that X Division Championship match where he won it. And that's kind of crazy if you think about it. So I'll let you guys kind of shoot on that real quick. Well, uh, it's again, it's someone who's not an X Division star getting that um, shot. Yeah, and I think Mike Bennett kind of needed a title at this point in his career and even if it was the x division title i mean and the way that he did it was pretty great too if you think about you know he's like i'm not gonna be a spot monkey and climb the you know little wires i'm just gonna get a ladder out and win this thing so i thought that was uh, and then cool. that was around the whole time of the whole option c thing exactly and that's when he wanted to really you know 
get the title and beat Lashley and everything. But uh, coming in at number six is just a quickie. Uh, when he became president of TNA, quote unquote president. Don't know if that really was ever a thing, if that was just a thing to say on screen. But I thought that was pretty cool. So he can say he was a president of TNA. Uh, coming at number five is suspending Al Snow without pay for hurting Grado. And then, you know, you think about it, he did that rip on Grado and then suspended Al Snow for breaking his arm. Uh, Billy yeah, Corgan has a very passive-aggressive nature to him. Him and Grado have had a lot of interaction together. I kind of wonder about that because if you all remember back to when Corgan was first on TV, mm-hmm. the big thing with was the whole Eli Drake and Grado were going back and forth, even with that whole Feast or Fired case. Yeah, and that's when we had uh, Olaf. And that's when Billy's just like, hey, man, just go away. You lost. <laughs> Get out of here! And that's when he did what Olog, the destroyer, or something. Yeah, when he yeah he did yeah. like Ogard or something. Yeah, and he won the cage match, but uh, <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, number four coming in is a more of a recent thing for Billy Corgan is the hipster change with a No Shay smoking a cigar. I don't know what was going on in TNA at this point. That's but, my favorite uh, thing in TNA. <laughs> they're just letting them smoke cigars backstage. They're just let them do whatever they want now. It's like, they're just, they can just do whatever. It's working out, though. I mean, if you give them power and they can run with it but not go crazy with it, then they can make some magic in TNA. So, But number three is Billy Corgan announcing the contract match for the knockouts and who will become the leader of it. And, of course, we would see uh, Maria Canellis Bennett become the leader of it instead of Jade, start the rivalry with Jade and everything, go back and forth. But I think that's pretty big to give that much power to her when she was already, like, she was starting to run wild because of Mike Bennett and just, this really allowed her to just climb to the top, you know, in her career. Uh, alongside Mike Bennett, like, it really did them a lot of justice. You guys want to shoot some more on just how that really impacted the knockouts. Without him, like, making that, like push saying oh yeah she's in charge of all you you really wouldn't have had the whole big feud with gail kim and maria because it wouldn't really well, maria be- wouldn't even matter maria yeah. wouldn't matter with how exactly. this whole storyline it also she helped matter uh, new people like sienna ali uh it helped Von develop S, these guys Andrew. immediately rather than like, hey, we're going to just let you play some, be, be in some matches, and then maybe oh, from there we'll take it from there. No, it, it, like it, it made people immediately important. Like, Sienna came on the scene, immediately important. Laurel, Vanessa, immediately important. Yeah, because they just interacted with the most important person. Allie, so. immediately important. Yep. All right, coming in, number two is the suspension of James Storm, and that's pretty big. I mean, he wasn't really going with the company, but that suspension gave him time to leave um, and shimmer down the whole, you know, importance thing, you know, because he wasn't really important. And now, as we can say, with the new group, if you haven't watched it yet, close your ears for like five seconds or 30 seconds. He's with Ready, DCC. Set. I've already said it, but I mean, but yeah, Death Count Council, him, Bram, and your boy uh, Eddie Kingston, um, those three members of Death Count God Council, damn you. and it ha- helps James Storm. Would you calm down there? You've known about this for a while, and you're gonna ask no, Eddie Kingston part. What? Oh. Remember, I said, oh yeah sorry man it doesn't matter it's happening tonight oh, well. anyways as i say okay. this. Yeah, it's happening tonight. yeah it's happening tonight but uh that's yeah. what i said oh well who cares just go. yeah but it's pretty big to suspend james storm i mean that's a really big name in tna to just come in there be really ballsy and say you're suspended but uh yeah number <laughs> one just... number one is revealing the impact grand championship and when i talked about earlier cementing his legacy in tna um he's the one to reveal it and it's probably his idea uh, for the most part to help out you know aaron rex coming in and other guys but i think if you get rid of billy corgan tna and you try to erase all history billy corgan the one thing you cannot erase without people being like what the heck is that impact grand championship unless they just simply tried to change like the name again uh, and all that then just another throw off the king of the mountain but it's like we had this concept that was very edgy and it was like it might work it might not but now that billy corgan's on his way out and they're done with the company that's that's billy corgan right there like that is all we have 
kind of left of Billy Corgan because, I mean, if they nix Aiden O'Shea, there's not really too many... I don't think it would be, you know, too much Billy Corgan referencing. So, but it's sad to see Billy Corgan go on his way out of TNA. Uh, hell of a guy, to say it, you know, in, in the least. But, you know, he really deserves uh, a lot of praise. You know, he, he did a lot for the company, long term, I feel like. And hopefully TNA doesn't do a 180 of what they've already done because he really was the 180 in the company to change things, helping out in charge of talent, um, you know, becoming the quote-unquote president and really helping lead the charge to what WWE would say is the, is, the new, is the new era. So I think this was the TNA new era of, of those new guys. Um, but let's we'll see long-term what happens. Best of luck to Billy Corgan, and uh, make a new company. <laughs> he already has Just... them, but uh, we'll see you all next time.